I'm feeding kangaroos. Yeah. <laughs> made it to Sydney. That was a really, really, really long flight. I think it was just really long because I was in coach. Like, I've never flew coach that long. 15 hours in coach. But anyway, nobody was sitting next to me in the middle, so I got to, like, have more space. I'm so hungry. I just ordered a smoothie and a wrap. It's 7.30 in the morning. This airport is very interesting. It's not many restaurants. So anyway, after this, we're gonna head to the hotel. Hopefully they let us check in early. Okay, the train was super easy to use and actually it would have costed us less to take an Uber, but I didn't even realize they drive on the opposite side of the road. I should have known that, but I didn't even realize that because I'm like, why is the car about to hit me? We're about to walk to our hotel. It's like a five minute walk and this is a really good area. This is the business area. So pretty much everything is gonna be nearby. They gave us the early check-in. Well, we sat in their face in the lobby, so I guess they were like, let's get these homeless people a room. This is the room. So now the plan is to get showered and then we're thinking of taking a ferry to one of the beaches, islands over here because today is gonna be the warmest day while we're here. So. Let's go ahead and get dressed. Hey guys, so change of plans. We ended up falling asleep last night, which I'm not surprised because after a 15 hour travel day, we just needed to sleep. So we ordered room service. We woke up around like nine or 10, ordered room service, which was pretty good for hotel food. And now it's 8 a.m. the next morning, so we're going to get breakfast. We're gonna walk around and see what we're gonna eat. It's actually pretty cold here, and y'all know I'm coming from Hawaii. Good morning, guys. I'm running behind, per usual. I just tried to throw this little braided ponytail on my hand. I'm not a hairstylist. Yesterday, we did a tour of Sydney. We also did go to the Opera House, which is really famous here in Sydney. It was really pretty. Architecture was amazing. And then we got to see the Sydney Bridge, which is really long, and y'all, I kinda wanna try to walk it. Y'all know I just love an adventure. Like, I just feel like I can do it. So if I have time later today, or tomorrow, I wanna try to like actually walk the bridge. Like it seems doable. It, I mean, I hiked the volcano, so I just feel like anything else outside of that is, is really doable. Um, I don't know if, we're gonna, if I'm gonna have time though because we are planning to go to New Zealand. We're going on a tour today that I found on Airbnb. I'm really excited because I wanna see some kangaroos. I can't come to Australia and not see some kangaroos. So we're going out of the city of Sydney to like the wildlife, to see like baby kangaroos. Um, we're gonna get like an authentic Australian meal that they're gonna prepare. They do have vegan food. I'm not vegan, my mom's vegan, but she's on the trip. So that's really good how they are accommodating. The food portions here are kind of big. So I haven't been finishing any of my food, which says a lot because if you know me, no food left behind. So I kind of changed the whole outfit. This is what we're wearing. Um. This is the sweater I bought yesterday. It's giving, I like this better. I was trying to be warm because it's cold here, but I'm gonna bring a long sleeve shirt, the long sleeve shirt that I had on earlier, just in case. The Australian Reptile Park and we're having, oop, I'm zooming in all the way. 
Joey. So baby kangaroo in the pouch, but okay. oh, in the pouch. That's a Joey as well. That's a Joey. So. That would sit in a pouch. These are baby kangaroos. Oh, Lighting's yeah, we quite are good right now. Actually. Are you hungry? Oh, yeah. Come on in, Cammy. He's full. This one's the hungry one over here. Yeah. <laughs> this one's ready for all. Are you recording one? Yeah. Ah. Give him a little spark. Being there that's just getting used to human contact. So you probably won't get a younger koala anywhere in the world. If you want to feel that fur, it's like the softest thing you'll ever touch. That's it. So nice and gentle on the back. Maybe just one at a time so it doesn't oh. get all freaked out. Sure? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, just God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, two on a four piece property up the coast and the drove out predators from Because of the sort of leopard print pattern they have on their shell. Any reptile that has a patterning, a spotting, or a striping, it's going to be slightly different on every single individual. It's like a fingerprint for these guys. So you can tell each one a question, it helps them to absorb more sun. <laughs> they definitely take things pretty slow. Now they have a very long digestive system. They're going to eat mostly grasses, hay, leafy greens, maybe a little bit. Don't jump on if you put their arms right out. They will, they will, they will. They're so close, there we go. Oh, look at all of them right up there. Don't move me on them. Ow, his back is. It's looking for the bread. These guys, they'll bite a cow, they'll bite a buffalo, and then they'll wait for that buffalo to slowly die of bacterial infection and venom. Mm -hmm. And they'll stalk it for up to a week until it dies, and then as soon as it dies, they all just pile in and eat. Is, so are they like in a group? Kind of, yeah. They kind of bite and stalk. They're all kind of watching, but they oh. fight with each other, so they're not really okay. they're crazy. They're kind of risky hiding. So they're out for this is a dingo, guys. Similar to a dog and a fox, like, combined. <laughs> These translucent, crazy looking wings. Oh, yeah. It's like going back to sleep. <laughs> like little little hook on. That one's looking like yeah. that one's staring at you. What? What's going on? Oh, uh oh. 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 You get the shot. The shot's coming. Vegan mile. I do. I'll do that. Are you that ready for the shrimp? <laughs> ready for the shrimp on the barbie? I'm ready for the shrimp on the barbie. Let's go. <laughs> because the food is really just giving. Okay, we got the mixed veggies going on. We have the the food, okay, the the cobram, okay, don't play with us, the oil. Y'all, yeah, I think I'm starting to feel this one. Very yummy food. Do you like to cook? Yeah, definitely. I find so you, it therapeutic most oh. of the time. I haven't reached that level of life yet. <laughs> it's more of a chore. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty uber eatsy, but <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, they didn't have to rush Ryan. I'm gonna ask you again. I don't want to do for the answer. I'm trying to record. Thank you. The nails are sharp. Am I the kangaroo whisperer? I'm feeding kangaroos. Oh, yeah, y'all are digging into my skin. Oh my god. Yeah, I feel teeth. All I feel is like wet saliva and nails. Y'all, we're literally just in Kangarooville. And this is the Grandpa Kangaroo. He's not in the mood. Like, we tried to feed him. He don't want to be bothered. He just want to sit there and chill. These two are the ones that we fed. Like, who would have thought I would be in Australia petting kangaroos? This is really fun. I wish this one would stand up because this is the big one. And he's probably taller than me. So, we'd love to see it, but he's not getting up. Okay, I'm about to throw a boomerang. That was so bad. There's a lot of wind. There's a lot of wind. Woo! Wait till the wind stops. Woo! Hey! Now it looks 
kind of good. Okay, if you guys come to Sydney, you have to book his tour. Straya. Okay. <laughs> Karaki. <laughs> Morning. We are at Bondi Beach. This is a must see if you're in Australia. Notice I said Australia, not Australia. I'm perfecting my accent, but it's really, really nice here. Um, if it was warmer in summertime, like this is, this would be packed. But it's really cold and there's still like a few people down there that's actually in the water and it's cold out here. As you can see, people have on their jacket. The goal was to come here for sunrise, but we're about an hour late. The sunrise is at 6.30 and 7.30. We had a little <laughs> debacle with getting the bus here. The drone would not make it out here. This is the City Bridge Harbor. It is 250 US dollars if you want to climb the arch. They actually have a tour we can do that. And I was interested in doing that, but y'all, who's paying $250 for that? Like, for me to use my two feet to walk? Like, are y'all carrying me up there? Is there a machine carrying me? No. Is there food included? No. Oh, okay, we'll be walking, so. I also love how everybody is just so active, like jogging, walking. Love that. Cause now I want to get out here and jog. <laughs> we ended our day at the Botanical Garden and y'all, I highly recommend this. It is free, okay? We love anything that's free, but I really enjoyed my trip to Australia. I definitely encourage you guys to go visit and I'll see you guys on the next travel vlog. Bye.